Aerobics Oz Style. We're doing a Pilates workout today and we're going to be focusing on our abdominals, our obliques and our buttocks. Right now we're going to warm up through the leg area, so just march it out nice and briskly. If you haven't done this sort of workout before, and when you do the workout today you really, really enjoy it, don't forget if you get onto the website you can actually buy our Aerobics Oz Style videos and we do have a Pilates video available. So whether you're here in Australia or you might be in the UK, you can get our videos, just log into that website. Keep your feet marching right now. The abs are tight, chest lifted really, really high. Nearly there, take your feet a little bit wider. Toes slightly turned out. Slow it down into a squatting position. Just bend your knees and lift. Sit down and squeeze your backside to come up. Really squeeze those glutes tight. Breathe out. Each time you lift, feel your muscles lifting internally. Squeeze it up. Adding some arms, you're just gonna pull down, reach out, and stretch. Take your elbows back, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Focus on your breathing. And keep your shoulders down at the same time. Feel the knees warming up, feel your bottom warming up, feel your upper back squeezing. That's four, and three, two, and one. Please take your feet a little bit wider, turn your toes out. Now open the knees out to the side. A different area stretching out now. Feel the inner thighs lengthening. And lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. Breathing out. Squeeze down. So check that you've got your heels on the ground and your knees are opening out in the same direction as your toes. Keep your chest up high on this one. Lower and lift. Four more times. Straight down for four. And three. That's two. And one. Give your legs a little bit of a shake out. Take one leg forward, one leg back. Lift the back heel, pelvis under. Bend your back knee just halfway down and lift. Small lunges to begin. Now if you haven't done lunges before and they feel uncomfortable to you all, especially in the knee area, go back to our first squatting exercise. That's all you have to do. Remember, chest up, tummy tight, lower down, nice and easy. Keep the bottom squeezed tight. Four more this leg, you're only going halfway. Tiny lunges. That's it team, slowly change your legs around. One forward, one back, a big step back with the back heel raised, pelvis under, lower down halfway. Lower and lift. Take that slowly, feel your body, feel that your knee is going straight down. It's really important to be aware of how your body feels when you exercise. When you're brand new, there's so many things to think about. It's like, oh, this is hurting, or how do I do this? But over time, you get more coordination, you get more balance, you get more strength, and you become really aware of exactly what muscle groups are working. Right now, you're focusing on your abdominals and your thighs and your bottom. Two more. One more. Give your legs a little bit of a shake out. Loosen that off and go back to our starting position. Neutral stance, slight turn out of the toes, chest up, and lift. Reach out and lift. Stretch it through. A little bit deeper now because you're getting warmer. You can go through a larger range of motion. That's it. Work with your breathing. Lift and squeeze. Keeping your weight on your heels the whole time. Eight to go, come on. Who can do it? Be careful you're not sitting down so low that you overstrain your knees. Just to a little bit above, parallel with the floor. One more time. All right, now your feet go wider. Toes turn out, your back's gonna stay straight. Reach up, lifting to the ceiling now. Stretch high. How high is your ceiling? Are you in a little tiny unit where it's very, very close? Or are you in an old style place? Really, really high ceiling. Or are you like us, outside, where the sky's the limit? That's it. Two more. One more, gently rock it side to side. Stretch out, keep the knees out over your toes. Feeling your inner thighs working just a little bit more. Eight times. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm starting to slowly tilt my body weight further forward. Let your hands come down over your knees. Keep that moving. That's it. All we're going to do is gently stretch it out on one side, push down and relax. Focus on your breathing. Ease down. We're going to gradually work our way down to the floor. We're getting ready for a Pilates workout. Straight back after the break.
make sure that you've taken your shoes off. We're gonna be lying on our sides. Coming down, you've got a towel. And you're gonna rest the towel between the neck and the arm. In this position, we're gonna talk about the neutral spine first of all. When you're lying on your back, you'll feel that you've got a bit of a banana with the back. I'd like you to draw the waist up off the floor so you've got one long line from the crown of the head through to the coccyx. That's your neutral spine position. Place a resting hand down in front of the chest and bring both your feet slightly forward so you're protecting the lower back area. We're focusing on the obliques, the muscles of the waist. Draw the navel to the spine firmly, supporting your back and take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift both legs up and as you breathe in, lower legs, keep the underneath waist lifted. And again, breathe out, lift two and breathe in, lower down. Breathe out three, breathe in, lower down. Breathe out four, breathe in, lower down. Keep the underneath waist lifted, five. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out six, breathe in, lower down. Lengthen the legs out, seven, breathing in. Eight, breathing in. Nine, breathing in. 10, and lower down. Now lift the legs again, hold them there. Turn the legs out so the heels together, the toes are apart. Take the top leg back, lengthen away, and bring the legs together again. Return the legs to parallel and slowly lower. And again, lift two, turn the legs out. Take the top leg back, keeping one hip stacked on top of the other. Bring the legs back together, parallel and down. And again, three, remember to hold the underneath waist up. Take the top leg back and together, parallel and down. Lifting four, turn out. Top leg reaches back, together, parallel and down. Lifting five, turn out. Top leg back, keep it back there and bring it together, parallel and down. Now slowly coming up onto your elbow, place the towel beside you. The elbow goes directly underneath the shoulder and in that position I'd like you to drop down into the shoulder. That's bad posture. Now push into your elbow, lift the underneath waist, particularly underneath the armpit. Bring the feet a foot and a half in front of you, hand resting in front of the chest. Lift the top leg up to hip height. Now without the torso moving, breathe in, take the leg forward. Breathe out, stretch, take the leg back. Breathe in forward, breathe out back. Breathing in, make sure the torso remains still. Breathing in, breathe out four. Breathing in, breathe out five. Breathing in, breathe out six. Breathing in, breathe out seven. Breathing in, breathe out eight. Breathing in, and nine, one more. Hold it back there, 10. Take the top arm off, stretch forward, lengthening through the back of the ribs. Take the top leg back, lengthening out of the hip joint, and now lift the thigh 10 times, one, two. Underneath waist lifted, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, nine, hold 10, and bring it together. Okay, the other side. Take your towels, and again, place them between the neck and the shoulder and out. Lift the underneath waist so you've got the neutral spine position and take a breath in. Breathe out, lift. Breathing in. Breathe out, lift. Breathing in. And again, three. Keep it up. Breathing in. Four. Breathing in. Five. Breathing in. Six. Breathing in. Seven. Breathing in. Eight. Breathing in. Nine. Breathing in. Ten. Breathing in. Lift the legs up. Turn the legs out. Take the top leg back and together, parallel and lower. Two, turn out, top leg back, together, parallel and lower. Keep the underneath waist lifted, turn out, carry back, together, parallel and lower. Four, turn out, take it back, together, parallel, one more, five. Turn out, top leg back, together, Parallel and lower down. Again, come up onto your elbow. Directly underneath the shoulder. Feet flexed a foot and a half in front of the hips. And drop down into the shoulder, relaxing. That's bad posture. Push into the elbow, lift the underneath waist up. Top leg lifted to hip height. And now without the torso moving. Breathe in forward. Breathe out back. And two. And back. And three. Back. And four. Back. And five back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Eight, take it back. Nine, and back. Ten, and back. Hold it back there for me. 
front arm, take it off and stretch forward, lengthening through the back of the ribs. Take the top leg back, lengthening out of the hip joint and now lifting one and down, two and down, three and down, four and down, five and down, six and down. Underneath waist up. Get ready for the next segment. We're coming back and doing butt exercises. Again, lying down on your side, I'd like you to use the towel once more. Place it between the neck and the shoulder. Bend both knees, think of that underneath waist again, bringing the spine into its neutral position. Place the top hand behind the butt and take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the top knee, breathe in, place it down. Breathe out, lift two, breathe in down. Breathe out, three, keep the ribs in. Breathe out, four, breathe in down. Breathe out five, breathe in down. Breathe out six, and down. Seven, and lower. Eight, and lower. Nine, and lower. Ten, five more. Eleven, and lower. Twelve, and lower. Thirteen, and down. Breathe out fourteen, breathe in. Breathe out fifteen. Make sure that you're using that hand to keep the top of the butt still. Place the hand down in front of the chest, straighten the underneath leg, put the top foot high on the side of the knee and breathe in to prepare. Lift one, breathe in. Breathe out two and down. Three and down. Four and down. Five and down. Six, make sure that you keep the hips still, just moving the thighs seven and down. Breathe out eight, breathing in. Breathe out nine, top shoulder away from the ear. 10, five more, 11, and down, 12, and down, 13, keep that toe nice and high on the side of the knee, one more, 15, and now the next one, clam three, lift the knee, straighten the leg, bend the knee, lower down, two, lengthen, bend, lower down, breathe out, breathe in, four, Lengthen, down and bend. Five, lengthen, down and bend. Six, lengthen, keep the underneath waist lifted. Seven, top shoulder away from the ear. And again, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve. 13, lengthen the leg into the air. Two more, 14, get ready to go to the other side. 15, and relax. Sitting up for me, taking a towel with you to the other side. Again, lying down, both knees are bent. Resting hand down in front of the chest, lift the underneath waist again, breathe in to prepare. And breathe out, lift one, and down. Now put the top hand behind the butt two, just making sure it's not going to move. Three, and down. Four, and down. Five, and down. Keep that top hand there, six, and down. Seven, and down. Eight, and down. Lift the underneath waist, and down. Eleven, and down. Twelve, and down. Thirteen, and down. Fourteen, and down. Fifteen, and down. Put the hand in front of the chest, straighten the underneath leg, top foot high on the side of the knee. Lift one, and down, two, remember that underneath waist, three, and down, four, and down, five, and down, six, keep those hips still, seven, keep that toe high, eight, ribs in, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, getting ready for the next one, 14, 15, here we go. Lift the knee, straighten the leg, bend the knee, lower down. Two, 
Lengthen. Bend. Keep that underneath waist lifted. Three. Lengthen. Top shoulder away from the ear. And again. Four. Lengthen. Bend and down. Five. Lengthen. Bend and down. Six. Lengthen. Bend and down. Seven. Lengthen. Make sure the leg length's nice and straight. Eight. Nine. And lower. Ten. Lengthen. Five more to go. Eleven. Lengthen. Down. Breathe at twelve. Lengthen. Bend and down. Thirteen. Lengthen. Two more to go. Fourteen. Lengthen. Bend. One more. Fifteen. Lengthen. Bend. Slowly down. And that completes that segment. We'll be coming back in the next segment for a cool down and a warm up again with Wendy. How did you go with that segment? Boy, oh boy, it never surprises me how something that looks so simple can be so effective to get into those particular target areas. I feel like I really need to stretch into the glutes right now. So how about we go back a little bit where Helen left off. One leg here, one leg here. Sitting the cheeks of your bottom down the ground and just giving that leg a big hug, pulling it in tight. Try really hard to drop the cheeks of your bottom down. If you can't do it with your bottom leg bent, go back to the original stretch that Helen was doing with your bottom leg straight. Just sit really tall through your spine and feel your muscles lengthening and loosening off. Really important at the end of any workout that's been pumping muscles. It might be a weight training workout or it might be a Pilates workout. You've got to make sure that you take the time to stretch and extend afterwards. Not much point doing it during the workout. If you're doing it during the work, you're kind of contracting and then stretching, contracting. Work on all the contracting work, do as much as you need to do, and at the end, take time to do the stretches. Switch it around to the other side. One in front, one over the top. Cheeks to the bottom on the ground. Wrapping all the way around. Think about a dancer's body, all right? I mean, a long, long, long time ago, it's like it sounds like a fairy story, it probably was. I used to be a dancer and was a ballet dancer and did all the exercises that you do in Pilates. We did that sort of thing as our warm up and our conditioning and strengthening type exercises. And if you think of a dancer's body, it's very supple, very long, lean muscles. They're still strong, but they're not big, bulky muscles. So if you're looking for something that will strengthen you, will tone and shape your muscles but without adding lots and lots of bulk, then you definitely want to be doing the Pilates. That doesn't mean that weight training is going to add bulk and size because you can do weight training as well to complement that, do light weights, high repetition to still get the tone and it helps to strengthen your bones as well, which you won't get so much from the Pilates work as you would with actual weight training. So a combination of those things would be great, but you do need to work on the stretches. Now another stretch to get into your bottom, one leg in front, one leg behind, a 90-90 stretch. Look, one in front, one behind, just gently lean forward over that top leg taking your elbows down, taking your body weight over the top and really sink down. You can even take your chest, like reach your hands out as far as you can go, taking your chest right down on top of the leg, feeling the stretch deep into your bottom. Let your head relax down as well, so you're sinking through your neck, sinking through your shoulders, letting your body weight just drop straight down on that leg. Take your time to come up out of that one and switch it around to the other side. So it's one in front, one behind, squaring the hips off, lift up nice and tall, bend forward, now you might just want to take your hands forward and that's far enough. Or your elbows down, or otherwise reach your hands all the way out. I just suddenly realised one problem with doing this stretch for me is that I get itchy after lying on grass and I can feel my arms are starting to get itchy already. Uh-oh. It's a bit of a problem, but it, it smells nice down here. It probably smells, smells better than the carpet at home. Mmm, smells nice and green and juicy. Alright, coming up. How does that feel? Shake your legs out. Inner thighs, open out, hold on to the ankles, lift up tall, sitting down over the top. We worked a lot on hip rotation, rolling in, rolling out. Just want to stretch through all that hip area. 
You also did a little bit of work in your hamstring when we're extending the leg, bending it in, lifting it up in the air. So one leg forward, chest out, just reaching gently over the top. Pilates works a lot with your feet as well, flexing and pointing. So try a flex stretch first and stay there and reach over and point that foot. And if you can, push it down even further. Get a great stretch over your instep, through your foot. Change that over to the other side. So start out with the flex stretch first. Lifting up tall, sliding along your leg, bending from your hips. Your chest is reaching out. It doesn't mean that you have to be a dancer to do Pilates. All right, in the group today, we've got people who have been dancers. We've also got people who are basically just normal sports people, like in this group here today. Jodie comes more from a sporting type of a background rather than a dancing type of a background, and yet she's fantastic at Pilates. And it's just basically lots and lots of practice, isn't it? Working on that one. So you can all do, all do Pilates. It just takes time and practice. Point the foot now. Pulling those toes all the way down taking your chest a little bit further forward, feeling the stretch over the top of your foot. And gently coming out of that one, give your legs a great big shake, loosen it all the way off. That's all we've got time for today. We've got a fantastic day to look forward to and I hope that you do too. We'll see you for the very next Aerobics Oz Style. Bye for now.